Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to graph the equation y equals x squared plus 4. As always, a graph is a set of ordered pairs, and we can use the equation to decide which of those ordered pairs are in the graph. Let's generate some ordered pairs to get a feel for how this equation works. I'll choose x equals 5. If we replace x with 5 in the formula, we get 5 squared, which is 25. And then we need to add 4, which gives 29. So the ordered pair 5, 29 is part of this graph. Let's try a negative value. How about negative 6? If x is negative 6, we get negative 6 to the second power, which is positive 36. And when we add 4, we get 40. So negative 6, 40 is also part of this graph. Let's generate those values in an organized way by making a table. I'll choose my standard set of x values. And once again, um, since the equation is related to the equation y equals x squared, we might as well compare uh, the tables that are generated for these two functions as well as their graphs. So in red, uh, I'm using the formula y equals x squared. 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, negative 1 squared, negative 2 squared, negative 3 squared. And here are the ordered pairs that go along with that graph. Splendid. Now let's take a look at x squared plus 4. So we're supposed to square x, which we've already done, and then add 4, which we're going to do right now. 0 squared plus 4. Uh, 1 squared plus 4. 2 squared plus 4. And 3 squared plus 4. Negative 1 squared plus 4, negative 2 squared plus 4, negative 3 squared plus 4. Okay, so we'll want to plot the ordered pair 0, 4, which is here. 1, 5, which is here. 2, 8. And 3, 13. On the negative side, we've got negative 1, 5 which is here, negative 2, 8, and negative 3, 13. Before we continue, let's stop and compare um, each red dot with each green dot. Notice that each of the green dots is exactly 4 units above the corresponding red dot. And in our table, that's evident because 4 is 4 higher than 0, 5 is 4 higher than 1, 8 is 4 higher than 4, and 13 is 4 higher than 9. But just why is it that all these green dots are 4 units higher than the red dots? Well, that's no mystery at all. The equation has us taking x squared and adding 4. So no wonder they moved up 4. Makes sense. Okay, let's complete these graphs. Uh, the graph of y equals x squared should go through the red dots. So we get this curve right here. And the graph of y equals x squared plus 4, I'll draw in black. It goes through all these green dots. So there you have it. That's what the graph of y equals x squared plus 4 looks like. Notice once again, the line of symmetry hasn't changed. We still get symmetrical u-shaped curve, uh, symmetrical around the y-axis. And in fact, the shape of this graph is exactly the same. It's just 4 units higher. In fact, I like to actually translate the entire x-axis so that I get a clear sense of what's going on.
To extend this task, I wonder if you could predict what would happen if we graph the equation y equals x squared plus 2 or x squared minus 6. Give those a try. Thanks for watching.